And what's the idea behind North Carolina 6.0? Well, the title of that chapter refers to an operating system. We're familiar with various operating systems or software programs having different additions like 3.1 or 6.0. In this case, what we're talking about is North Carolina's government operating system. The structure of our government, the governor, the legislature, the judicial branch, the various regulatory and governance agencies in North Carolina, uh, many of those institutions haven't changed much in decades, if not centuries. North Carolina has gone through five different iterations of government. We had a colonial system, then we adopted three different state constitutions over the course of time, and in between there was one almost rewrite of the Constitution. So if you think about it, those are five different ways to operate our government in North Carolina. In this book, we propose a sixth version, a modern 21st century government that streamlines how government is organized, improves public accountability, reduces the number of separately elected executive branch officials. We currently have 10 in North Carolina. Uh, this book proposes that we go down to four and make some other changes in our judicial and legislative process. You have a number of proposals, and they target basically every different branch of government in some way. Uh, in addition to cutting down that number of elected officials, what are some of the other top recommendations? A lot of the recommendations have to do with the relationship between the branches of government. For example, North Carolina finally gave its governor a veto back in the 1990s, but it's a very weak veto. Most states have a stronger pop a power for the governor. A few states have what is called an item reduction veto. It allows the governor not just to say no to a, a budget bill or a line of a budget bill, but actually to reduce uh, spending in a particular category. We think that's an excellent idea. There's good evidence that helps to restrain state spending growth over time. So it's an example of changing a power that already exists to make it more relevant. Uh, in order to compensate the legislature for some losses of power to the governor, we propose some increasing uh, responsibilities for legislators in the area of supervising regulatory agencies and confirming appointments made by the governor. 